You know, with new agribusinesses springing up every day here in the state, three years ago, the Georgia Department of Agriculture created a marketing and economic development program called Georgia Grown. Now, recently, Damon Jones attended their symposium in Perry and tells us some of the things they're very excited about this year. While it's only been around for a short time, the Georgia Grown program, which was created by the Georgia Department of Agriculture to help expand agribusiness within the state, has already made a significant impact. And recently they held their annual symposium at the Agri Center in Perry, and the attendance was once again on the rise. We restarted our, re, uh, our branding program for Georgia Grown uh, three years ago, and now over 600 businesses and farms all across the state are, are, are using the brand. Our program is growing. This is an educational outreach of the department to really you know, help get businesses together, but also go over some of the regulatory side of being in the food business and, and really the business to business contacts today through our expo. Uh, yeah, we think it's going to be a really successful day. With that type of diversity and the chance to network with other small business owners, this event provided plenty of opportunity for those in attendance. The theme of this year's symposium is innovation and diversification. We're hoping people will learn how that they can expand their farming operations, expand their business, move forward with their goals and aspirations to grow their business and open up new markets for them. However, starting a new business or even expanding on an existing one is never easy, which is why the Georgia Grown program is here to walk you through some of the major challenges producers might encounter. Those issues run the gambit between regulations, inspection, what they need in terms of license, and how to open those next doors to get to their end goal. And a lot of times they have to adjust those goals. Uh, everybody's not going to immediately day one walk into the Publix and the Kroger with the products and the food they're producing. And we have to teach them how to crawl a little before they actually run. And once the business is off and running, Georgia Grown not only helps market the product, but also gives it a recognizable brand that consumers can trust. Uh, with agriculture being the largest industry and we're uh, again, the, the, the drive for more locally produced products, whether it's you know, fresh vegetables or if it's a barbecue sauce or a jam or jelly or a meat rub, uh, we're just, just businesses springing up everywhere. And so uh, our, our objective is to take this brand, make it the preeminent state brand all across America. It, it creates a unified brand, a brand that's recognizable by, by the consumers in the metro area so that they have a belief in a quality and the fact it's local, uh, produced by their neighbors and adding to the state's economy. One of the things this program is extremely excited about is the launch of their Georgia Grown Trails, which highlights many of the agriculture related tourism spots in the state along a more than 150 mile stretch. The number two industry behind agriculture in Georgia is tourism. And what better marriage can we have than to create a, a, a series of trails, of Georgia-grown trails, so that people visiting this state can understand where the bounty comes from and visit those wonderful places along those trails that produce food and offer tourism attractions. Reporting from Perry, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.